Hey folks, the Desert Artist here. As you know, I've uh, recently become a, uh, a garbage man, right? That means I find cool stuff in the garbage, which uh, also means I find odd things in the garbage. Now, generally, I've been, been a man to put uh, two and two together, and often I come up with a square root that ends up being more than what I intended to add up. Uh, and for that means I just put a lot of things together and they all end up in a big chain. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. Maybe it's part of my brain injury. I don't know. But I came across something in the garbage uh, a couple days ago that uh, intrigues, puzzles, befuddles, and stupefies me. Um, this is just one... Um, one box that I found. Uh, the other ones went into the recycling bin. And I, I really hate to point it out because I know there's probably going to be a lot of people out there who are going to be, uh, boy, wow, we come up with the synonyms on that one. They're going to be well, angry. We'll probably be one good one there, especially the post office workers. <clears throat> because as you can see, now let me see if I get a hand on a picture. Uh, uh, that's a whole case. Old case of, get me, 25 priority mailboxes. Now let me, uh, let me throw this up here. Now I have scratched out the names to maintain a sense of privacy, I guess. Um, but uh, not, only, not only did the post office pay for the shipping for this, the, they also paid for the the packing box, the packing tape, the shipping, uh, which here is from Indianapolis, Indiana, to uh, Corpseye, Arizona. Now, box 101. Now, keep in mind, I got three boxes. Three. Three. That's right. And... They may not have been addressed to all the same person. I only grabbed one box because, well, I needed some priority mail flat rate boxes. I, they just happened to come through in the mail. That generally happens with me playing on the garbage. I need something, and it generally comes through for me. But the point I'm getting to is why this is the reason why the post office is losing money. Because... They are paying for this shipment. They're paying for priority packing tape. All them, all them free things the post office pays for. They're not post office ain't paying for it. It's us, the consumer, that's paying for them, and we're throwing them away in the garbage. To me, well, I'll come up with some more synonyms quick, Todd. Wow, we um, um. Maybe if the post office was to maybe to assess the loss of such items like this, maybe the, the, the cost of the packing tape, the cost of the boxes, uh, the cost of the advertising on TV, is it worth, uh, worth it for us to pay 45 cents a stamp or 50,000 cents a stamp, whatever it ends up being in the next year? Like it's been doing every year. It's been going up. Granted, I'm, I'm, I'm on a rant now. I'm sorry. But I, I remember when I was a child. I know it's going to sound sad. I remember when I was a kid. Gas was a quarter a gallon. Yeah, well, I know. I'm sorry. But I do remember when it was 20 cents a stamp. And it does seem recently it's been going up a couple cents every year. Um, and... I've always been a man to put two and two together and, and come up with a multiple of something. But I thought I'd throw this out there on the airwaves as a rant. Maybe, maybe, just maybe somebody out there can listen and make a response. Maybe, maybe, maybe I can be the guy who ends up, hey, wouldn't that be cool? Me being the guy to end up being the cause for the reason for the post office to have to reduce the stamp costs. Wow. There you go, folks. 
Maybe something the post office postmaster general can assess himself. Once again, this is the desert artist with a rant from the desert. <laughs> the dry brain. <laughs> Y'all have a great day.